Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good this morning. What? Yeah. And to you Steam Deck fans again, more news for you. <laughs> Keep the news coming. Anyway, <laughs> listen to this. Says here, uh, Valve's update portal to user interface ready for Steam Deck. Oh, boy. Says here, this on Gamer's Rant here, says in less than four weeks, Valve Steam Deck will finally be released. In the meantime, the company has been tweaking some of its games to prepare. Mm. Anyway, it says no one really knows how well the Steam Deck will do until it gets released this month. But it's being pushed back a couple of months has allowed Valve to work for longer to make sure the device is up to par when it does finally comes out. Case in point, the company recently updated the user interface for Half-Life 2, presumably to make it more compatible with, this, with the touchscreen handheld PC, and it looks like a similar thing has happened to Portal 2. Hmm. Anyway, says here, says here, Given that Portal was developed by Valve, it makes sense for developers and publishers to be tweaking its own games in time for the launch of the Steam Deck. Originally scheduled for Christmas 2021 release, the device had to be pushed back due to material shortage, but the f extra few weeks seem to have provided a good opportunity to make some lasting minute adjustment to ensure that as many games as possible that are compatible comes February 20th, 25th. Says here, in terms in terms of tweaks themselves, similar to Half-Life 2, Portal 2 has just had its U user interface update, UI. While it doesn't give detail, it would make sense that the menu and the HUD have had their size increase in order to accommodate touchscreen use. While it's more than 10 years old as this point, the mind Bending Puzzles platformer is one of the most influential sci-fi games in the industry with a memorable storable and a roster of amusing uh, characters. So it's understandably that Valve would want to make it sustainable for its upcoming device. <laughs> Says here, uh, on, top, on top of general game tweaks and bug fixes for Portal 2, there are some new Linux drivers which could extend the Steam Deck battery life. It was originally advertised as being able to run aforementioned puzzle games for up to six hours when running at 30 FPS. These latest drivers should hopefully extend this by adjusting the VRS or variable rate shading on the fly depending on whether the deck is running on AC or battery. Says here, Currently, the Steam Deck has more than 100 games verified according to a third-party database. There's still a way to go until all 50,000 Steam games will be pl fully playable, but there's still time. And no doubt that aren't compatible by launch, they will have some updates after the fact. All in all, in all things seem to be heading in the right direction for the device. And time will tell whether the extra weight has been worth it or not. Well, they say good things come to those who wait. And, you know, Portal 2 is getting a user interface upgrade, just like Half-Life 2. We already know that Valve can count to three. <laughs> anyway, so Portal just just got their, uh, got their, got their, uh, just got some new updates. Know, so Steam Deck is 24 days away. You know, it comes out on the 25th. You, you get it shipped to you on the on the 28th. So yeah, um, Valve is just keeping up with the keeping up with the demands of the Steam Deck and making sure things are in order and and, and go on from there. And um, you know, you know, the pandemic was a test for them. You know, and like I said before, to see if they were going to follow through on this or not. And they did. So, February 25th. And, uh, things are looking good. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted when any more news come up. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dwarf, dark side. Um, go.